problems with your, your <laughs> clients. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> Did you see that? He never has any problems with my clients. That's the best thing about Kess. Well, he loves that because. Jesus, try us. <laughs> I always bring results. That's guaranteed. Easy. Well today I've got a client who's got a photo shoot who's absolutely worked his ass off in 11 weeks he sh brought his best package today I've never seen results achieved in such a short period of time and you're gonna see now he's absolutely shredded this is crazy let's have a look look at that guys Plan is now, just went for photographer to show up. Uh, he's never usually late, but he's stuck in traffic because you know it's Christmas time and Cork City is just on shutdown. Well, I don't actually know, Dublin's probably 10 times worse right now. So, um, yeah, so we're just keeping Dennis warm because he's obviously freezing his nuts off due to his low body fat percentage. And fingers crossed when Kess comes, we'll get the ball rolling straight away. We'll get a couple of sugars in Dennis and then we'll get him pumping up. 100 grams of carrots. Yeah, but I'm just on about days before that when we weren't. What do we have you up to? Three? Yeah, it's three something, isn't it? Three. Dennis, you started at 2 9, but we had a short period of time. You yeah. could easily push, man, 3 6, 3 7, 3 8, 3 9 offices. On an off season, John, what if you build them up slowly? Yeah. So I'm saying, once you had a stable four week reverse diet, you have got. How are you going to get 3,900 calories in? John, there's days when you're going to be out with Nicole. Yeah. You could easily go out for a fucking three course meal and you still wouldn't hit your calorie. You're not going to gain any weight because you won't hit that bracket. So that's the benefits of having a structured uh, reverse dieting phase. At the end of the day, the biggest battle is dietary adherence, as you know that. That's, any diet plan is only good if the person can stick to it. So basically the two boys love the basic bro foods, which is sweet potato, white potato, um, broccoli, all your vegetables, all your greens, solid source of protein from either eggs, chicken, turkey, mince. At the end of the day, start a prep, always have some sugars in post-workout, you might as well, because you don't want to have any gut issues in terms of volume of food you're putting into someone's stomach. So Cocoa Pops, I had Dennis on for a good couple of weeks. John, I had them on for about 10, 11, 12 weeks, I had John on Cocoa Pops. So at the end of the day, guys, it's just about finding what works that individual. And as I said, at the end of the day, if they can adhere to the diet, well then the results are gonna come easy. Like Dennis said, it was a walk in the park for him. And his condition is amazing, like. The, the mindset about the whole thing is like, if you're able to sit down and watch 60 minutes of TV, you're able to sit down and do a prep, or able to do a prep for 60 minutes. So what you get a lot of people doing is that they do the easy part, which is the gym. It's the hard part is when you're inside in the, doing the kitchen, prepping the food. That's the hard part of it all. But when you get people to sit down and realize that the food is the hard part, and you just have to get them to turn that to the easy part, and then it makes it a lot easier. We have Haribo's, Muffin, Origin Protein Bars. I'd like to mention Niall Harty. He sponsors the Body Pals, Origin Protein Bars for recovery food, snacks, John Azel. All foot sponsored him through his prep. But, um, the nicest protein bars, clean protein bars that are out there. So guys, if you haven't tried them, get on them. Now guys, it's loading with some fast digesting sugars. I know there's a couple of fats sitting in the muffin, but um, it's just to give him a bit of energy, get the vascularity showing. So he's basically depleted now. Well, not depleted in terms of carbs, but he's only had one meal this morning. I loaded him on fats and proteins. We had steak and two fried greasy eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now this is the first bit of sugars he's had today. So we'll get a great response and you'll see his veins light up. Another little trick, guys, a little uh, trick in the tray. What I told Dennis last night, go to the shop, buy a bottle of Coke, in between the shoot, you know, you want to keep liquids at a low. Great way to get sugar into the body without any gas, so you get any gut irritation. So I told him to go to the shop last night, buy a bottle of Coke. He was like, yeah, what do you mean a bottle of Coke for? I have no liquids. Shake the absolute crap out of it. Let the fizz out of it. Let it stay overnight. Then you've got great source of sugar, guys. And you know a bad Coke is for you, but not when you're doing a shoot and you want to get the vascularity on. Where we shoot? The size. Well, I walked in. Yeah. This is the door, yeah? yeah. I walked in. Like the wind is free. Like the water is deep. She's a bird.
some food. <laughs> now we're happy. Now we're happy. <laughs> right, step one, you try and get it on. Mm -hmm. I just made a tit of myself, but look. <laughs> Would you feel like Dennis? Very good. <laughs> All worth it. Oh yeah. <laughs> that moment. You always bring go for a big dinner after a shoot, Mike. Always. It's just part and parcel. <laughs> With John, we went to Five Guys. Um, this is not really Five Guys. If there was a Five Guys in Cork, we would have been Five Guys. But this is the next best thing. Well, if not, it's actually better. It's a lot cheaper than boy was. <laughs> Guys, uh, that's a wrap today. We filled up the bellies, that's the main thing. He's happy now, my oh. boy. So, uh, you know it's a tradition. What you do, you get shredded and you get fat as fuck. But no, I'm only joking, guys. It was a brilliant day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Remember, guys, if you liked it, click the subscribe button and give it a massive thumbs up if you think he looks absolutely shredded.